Well, hello and welcome. I'm Laura J. Mueller, the co-curator of the show, and I want to quickly just thank Miwako. It's been such a pleasure working with you on the show and for the wonderful staff here that's really pulled this together and made it the, the great experience um, that you have upstairs. And I think without further ado, I'm just going to jump in right to the questions. And I think we will start with um, Ikeda-san. I will start with Ikeda-san. Um, Ikeda-san, a, a major theme in your paintings is this, is sort of the battle between mankind and nature, machine versus nature. Um, in this piece that starts the show, the section of your show of Meltdown, um, it references the 311, the Fukushima meltdown, as well as, which would be considered the man side of it, and then the, um, you were in an artist residency program in Canada at the time, and you talk about the glacier aspects of melting ice. So how does that battle come to be in your, in your work? And is there a winner? There, there's no winning or losing um, one way or the other. Um, there's a little bit more of a pessimism as opposed to um, optimism. There's a great deal of conversation um, that's happening all around the world um, in regard to um, environment. その、なんだろうな。やっぱり今までその人間がいろいろなものを作ってあの反映してきた結果、あの自然がそれだけあのリベンジと言いますか。as a, as a result of um, technological invention and development um, that we have um, um, kind of come through. Um, えっと、それでまあそういう今大きなその地球規模で自然が人間をの文化をこう脅かそうとしているっていうか飲み込もうとしているっていうかそういったものがあのすごく自分の中で大きなテーマとしてあって。on a global case, I see something, um, something as if um, the mankind is engulfing or swallowing the nature, and that has been um, one of the largest topics of my works. I want to express the sense of danger. そういったあの自然のま苦難から立ち向かう存在でもあるっていうことを書きたいので、ま勝ったり負けたり、そうお互いがそのこう拮抗しているっていうか、そういったものが大きな一つのテーマとして書いています。But at the same time, the mankinds are also um, extremely resilient and adaptable, and so there is this kind of a mutual negotiation between the two. That okay. Now we'll move on to uh, Temiyoya-san. <laughs> Uh, Temiwa-san, a reoccurring um, subject matter of your work is Buddhist imagery, like the Thousand Hand Kanon, Fudomyo, Baku. How does Buddhist religion or religion in general come into play in your, in your work? And would you consider your work religious in nature? ま、僕が考えることをま、平面で具現化するための装置としてあの宗教的な絵画は引用してますね。で、ま、例えばこの作品の場合は uh, in order to express uh, my um, ideas, I do use um, Buddhist imagery as a certain device. あの、ま、9.11の後に直後に書いたんですけど、
侵攻と暴力は対極的なものでありますが、まあ、表裏一体でもあるという。Um, I painted this after 9 11, and there is、um, both faith and violence,、um, which is、uh, interchangeable or mutually constitutive.、ね、um, that's、um, the idea or the concept behind this image. Going on to another work of the rhyme installation upstairs, you、um, have included a, sort of a reference to Ryoanji Temple in, in Kyoto or a, a rock garden, a, a meditative rock garden. Do you, how does meditation come into viewing your art? この,この作品はあの、まあ、イ,ンスタレインスタレーションというか右の方の砂と岩の作品の方は京都の龍安寺の石帝とあと京都の妖原院の地天井というところがあるんですが侍が切って血が流れたものを坊さんがそのまま天井に使った。板で有名なところなんですが、その上下を一緒にしたような。Um, so for this piece, particularly on the right hand side,、um, the idea or the inspirations come from both Ryoanji Temple and とあと京都の妖原院、妖原院、妖妖原院、妖原院 Temple in Kyoto, where、um, the Buddhist monk、uh, used、um, The ceiling as the floor where the, there was blood splattered?、Yeah, I can add to that、uh, because I have been to that、uh, Ryogen in, in Kyoto.、Um, it's a temple、uh, in northern Kyoto. It's a Zen temple, I believe, and it is reusing the、uh, wooden plaque or flooring from、uh, 16th century. Uh, which had this soaked、uh, blood stains on it from the battle that took place at the time. So the Buddhist monks of that particular temple didn't throw it away, they reused it to become the ceiling panels、uh, in order to, I guess, appease the、uh, spirits of disease. So that is kind of like a red stain s that he is trans-、uh, transporting from that 16th century. Uh, warfare to this contemporary、uh, rendition of the installation. So, let's see if I can see it. So, let's see if I can see it. あの両方が響き合う,合うような、まあ、インというタイトルにしたんですね、ライムというタイトル。インですかイン,インってどういう字ですかインは、インを踏むのイン。ああ、OK。So,、um, to、um, elaborate further on this piece,、um, the title is called In, which、um, is like a rhyme. And、um, the two pieces, the floor piece and the paintings, are in kind of a relationship that's supposed to resonate with each other. Meditation. 
瞑想、えっ、ー、と、まあ、禅ではないですけど、あの。メディテーションするということですけれども。まあ、禅的なものとは。関係はあるんですが、まあ、あれですね。僕の場合、バサラというコンセプトがありまして。バサラもうちょっと説明簡単に説明するとあの、まあ、室町時代に派手な格好をしてしゃしな振る舞いをするような侍大名たちのことをバサラと呼んだんですね。The idea of Basara or the term, and it、um, originates in the Muromachi、um, period of Japan, where、um, kind of、um, elaborate and、um, flashy sort of、um, samurai and、uh, daimyos、um, sort of existed during that period. Yes. Right. Right. So I was saying that、um, another concept that's relevant to the,、um, his practice is the idea of basara,、uh, which is basara is、um, a samurai or daimyo. They are kind of、um, flashy and elaborate、um, samurai s that、um, existed during the Muromachi period in Japan. The first thing is basara, which is the most important thing. There's that term that's at the foundation. で僕が考えたまた違うローマ字のバサラというものは And then I romanticized,、um, the term まあ簡単に言うとうめちゃめちゃ簡単に言うと、まあ、縄文時代に遡る。And to reduce it to very simplistic terms,、um, if we can trace it back to the 縄文 period. 縄文火炎土器まで遡って現代のデコトラまで派手なものですね飾りがデコラティブなものででなおかつまあかぶいてるような内面を持ってるようなものですね。Um, so something that's actually decorative and kind of、um, uh, very Uh, vivid, I suppose,、um, are the kind of、um, things that's throughout from the Jomon period all the way up to the current decoration that I draw from. ここ and then we'll go back to the,、um, the garden. And in the garden, there's usually white stones. ね、And the stones are not like this black. Um, to make things more elaborate is the process that Basaras are known for. And then、まあ、that's the particular spirit.、ね、And that's how I visually、um, sort of express that、um, process.、まあ、ううううう There is a lot more behind this, but to make it very simplistic, that's what it is. Okay, now a question for Team Lab, Inoko san.、Um, As a classic artist, art historian, I am really interested in that you choose as inspiration a lot of work by Ito Jakuchu, the 18th century painter Ito Jakuchu. And would like to know why specifically you chose Ito Jakuchu in his art. What was it about his art、um, and the history around him that drew you to him?、えー So, 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 Is to create a digital work uh, uh, with application of、uh, Japanese ancestors' spatial recognition theory. 
uh, into a uh, visual uh, expression. The その論理構造を再利用するような形で新たなまあ視覚体験だったり現代の世界の捉え方にまあ問いかけるようなそういうふうな。作品を作ることをテーマにしています。And what we are trying, we are aiming to create as artwork is to reuse the、uh, this ancient Japanese spatial recognition theories with,、uh, and uh, making it a new visual experience、uh, to create a new artworks. でそのまあ理,由理由は、えーまあ、古来その、まあ、人間が長年培ってきたものの中で、えー、近代たまたま相性が悪かっただけ近代たまたま相性が悪かったがゆえに、まあ、捨てられてきたものの中に、えーまあ、新しい社会その、まあ、新しい社会に時代が変わろうとしている中で新しい社会に実は、まあ、何かヒントになったりもしくは新しい社会こそ相性がいいものが隠れてる、まあ、そんな気がしていて、えー、実はその、えー、産業革命前のつまり近代以前の、えー、日本の古来の,、まあその世界の捉え方みたいなものを、えー、模索するっていうことに、まあ、興味を持ってます。We are interested in applying this ancient Uh, Japanese spatial recognition theory,、uh, which I believe have been uh, uh, lost during the、uh, transition to, into modern、uh, society, especially with the、uh, coming of the Industrial Revolution uh, and uh, bringing into the、uh, arrival of the Western、uh, theory. Uh, what ancient Japanese had for many centuries have been sort of lost. And we want to dis- rediscover this、uh, new theory and new way of looking at the world、uh, because we believe there is a hint to be applied to a contemporary world、uh, in creating a better world and better perception of visual experience. Nande, and, uh... 古来の日本の空間認識には興味があるんですけど具体的にその過去の作品をモチーフにしてるっていうのは実はそのさっきの作品ぐらいなんですね。We are obviously interested in reviving old works, but in, in our、uh, art creation, we are not generally using existing old、uh, artworks from Japan. And the, almost the only exception is the work that、uh, Jakuchu has created, uh, uh, on, on which our、uh, work has been based on. This is almost an exceptional case where、uh, the, the existing、uh, t- artwork has been used to create our digital work. マス目書きというなんかまあ全くよくわからない書き方をしていて一体それは一体何なんだろうとで現代人はなぜかこの作品がすごい好きでそのなぜ突然現代人はこの作品をその200年間ぐらい、えー、その全く関心を寄せなかったのに突然そのえー、21世紀になって突然この作品が異常に人気になったりしていてそれは一体何,何,何でなんだろうっていうのに興味があって、まあえー、ある種、えー、モチーフにしました。This、uh, screen,、uh, pair of screen paintings、uh, made by Jakuchu、uh, have been long forgotten and only in the 21st century, in recent、uh, days, Uh, Japanese started recognizing this appeal, and, and、uh, then 
one of the uh, interesting points from this uh, Jacuccio's uh, eccentric painting was the fact that these paintings were painted on uh, thousands of square grids. And the, this uh, ex uh, pattern of grids on the background was something we are extremely attracted to in thinking about transferring the painting into digital work. Um, back to Ikeda-san. In your work, um, when you look at this one, these wonderful detailed landscapes, you often leave the small figures, the people, animals, and whatnot, you, you leave them blank as white silhouettes. What is the meaning behind that? There are two reasons. For one reason, my uh, works are very, very detailed, and so if I paint everything, including the human figures, it becomes almost suffocating. And one, that's one where I want to prevent sort of um, this kind of a difficulty in experiencing the artwork. And then another one is um, by leaving them blank, um, it might create a room where the viewers may be able to uh, project themselves onto the figures. Um, so my works are very figurative, and so if I make it um, too kind of um, descriptive, then it might limit the interpretation of the viewers. So I want, I hoped that the blank space would be a kind of an invitation uh, where um, it might draw people in to um, uh, project ideas or even become the figure themselves. Uh, Temiyoyo-san, um, going back to your rhyme installation, um, we talked already about you take inspiration from some Buddhist imagery and Buddhist ideas. And in that piece on the painting, you use Renaissance battle scenes as a source of your inspiration, uh, da Vinci and uh, Uccello. What drew you to those, ba those types of battle scenes um, for this work, for inspiration in this work? To try to state it simplistically, um, while valuing the kind of um, Japanese spirit, but also uh, incorporate the ideas that are um, uh, valuable from the Western cultures. So, 
、まあ、当時、ポルトガルでしたか、まあはい、浅田大名の後の歌舞伎ものの大名でいうと信長はあの向こうの兜をかぶってマントを。Um, so, for example, like Basara often took ideas from Portuguese and also Kabuki,、um, like Nobunaga,、um, also drew ideas from、um, foreign cultures. まあ新しいものをハイブリッドすることで日本の文化は成り立ってきたと思うんですね。あの誤解を恐れずに言えば。So, to look back on the history of Japan, we've always incorporated、um, different cultures to make it into、um, its own kind of a hybrid form. まあそれを平面で表現したような感じですか And、um, the, I rendered it into this two dimensional image,、um, all of those kind of historical backgrounds. I think.、Um, Temuya san's answer really brought up an interesting、uh, point about Japanese hybridity in artistic expression, whether it's a combination of Japanese、um, indigenous expression or technique and、uh, what has been imported from outside Western、uh, art and technology.、Um, how, are, um, how is this? Hybridity m e a n to you, all of you three artists,、uh, when you're making your work today? Do you look to Japanese、uh, past art history or do you look to something more intimate to yourself at this moment? That's a difficult question to address. まあ自分の中では特別そういうことを意識して書いていないのであのまあけまあなんだろう。I don't often consciously think about those particular terms. ただあの予兆っていうその大きな波の作品はえっとよくえっと北斎の。This piece called For Token is often compared to the very famous、uh, wood block print by Hokusai. ただあのこれは、まあ、結果的にこう似てしまったっていうだけで。はじめからこの北斎のあの波の絵にインスピレーションを受けて書いているわけではないので。But it actually,、um, as a result, became this form as opposed to 北斎 as、um, being an inspiration from the beginning. まあただ出来上がったその形を見て、あやっぱり北斎があの間を大きく。とって波の大きさを表現し強調しているっていうところがあの自分の絵でもなんてまあ、はい、When I、um, completed this piece and saw it and there was、um, something that resonated、um, that I recognized when、um, where Hokusai really did emphasize the waves and、はい、うんとそうですねえっとなんてこれ説明してしてもいいですかそのプロセスっていうかそれが分かりやすいかなと思うんですけど。Perhaps it's easier if I just、um, describe the process. えっとこの絵は四つのパネルから成り立ってまして。There are four different panels for this、um, painting. えっと真ん中あえっと右から三つ三つの要は三枚のパネルで最初に書いていたんです。Um, in the beginning there were three panels. それでその大きなこう
結果的に波みたいな形がこう出来上がってそれで最終的に離れてこう全体の絵を見た時にすごく息苦しかったんです。And I completed the three panels and then took a step back and looked at the painting and then realized it was rather suffocating. And then I added another fourth panel and then drew or painted rather、um, small waves. So, I added a すごくこう波の大きさが強調されて動きも出たので、result, um, was, um, で改めて北斎のその波の絵をそこで初めて自分でも見てみて。あ,あなるほど、昔の人のその構図の取り方ってすごく面白いっていうか、まあの、なんていうんだろう、まとえてるんだなっていうのを、そこで改めて尊敬しましたっていうか。<笑> that was the scene where I realized、um, that the people who have been、uh, very kind of important in our history have thought about compositions in this way and that I had a new reborn kind of respect for them. あともう一つはあの日本のアーティストはよくあの、まあ、昔から日本人は手先が器用で、まあ、細かいものをよく作るっていうことを言われてますけども、um, that, um, kind of or, um, crafty and are very detail oriented、まあ、どういうわけか自分もやっぱり手先が器用で、and I do happen to be crafty as well. だからやっぱり日本人のそういう血がこうなんていうなんだろうハイブリッドっていうかやっぱ昔からそういう細かいっていうところがまあそれをまあ意識しなくても伝統的に受け継いでこうミックスさせてるんだなっていうのはよく思います。And I don't necessarily consciously think about it, but it does seem as though、um, those kinds of skills have been passed down almost naturally. ただあまりその意図的にとにかく狙って何か昔のものと今の自分たちの日本のものをっていうのをそこまでその意図的にはあのやっていないのが僕の作品です。But I'm not necessarily aiming to、um, conflate the past and the future. That's not my purpose. ですよね、あの僕は池田学君の作品を僕がバサラ展というのをやったんですけどキュレーションした時の,あの、まあ、コンセプトはそのバサラでまとめたんですけどさっきの作品なんかは。When I curated a show、um, called バサラ、um, 池田君 was also、um, involved in the show. あの、まあ、細かいところを見ると。いろんな違ったもののハイブリッドで大きな存在になってるんですね。そういう意味ではやっぱりハイブリッドなんですよね。え？一つの絵の中でいや池田君の。Um, I'm speaking、um, about 池田君 piece and、um... When you look at the smaller details,、um, all the details do seem to be combining different elements to make a hybrid. で他の作家も、まあ、何人かいたんですけどそういう作家が多くまたデコレーションされたトラックだとかを入り口に2台置いたりだとかあとまあ、全身に入れ墨を入れた人たちもまあ後でちょっと出てくると思いますが。Um, so there are a lot of decorative elements to the exhibition、um, where for example there were two trucks at the entrance or、uh, someone with um, tattoos um, all over their body or his body or their bodies。下の部分ですね。左がその入れ墨を披露した時の風景で、右がそのトラック。Um, the left is the tattoos、um, scene, and then the right、um, is the truck. 
まあ、そうハイブリッドという意味では、まあ、分かりやすいかもしれないですあの入れ墨もこういろんなものを特に日本の入れ墨はあのいろんな柄をこう増殖していくというかいろんなものを継ぎ足していくような要素があるので。There is an element of、um, additive、uh, in Japanese、um, tattooing process, and that seems to sort of、um, represent the hybridity. The t r u c k is a d e c o r a t i o n of the truck. The truck is a decoration of the truck. The truck is a decoration of the truck. And there are also decorations all over the trucks as well. まあ猪子さんはいかがですかハイブリリティということを考えて、えー、作品を制作することってありますかねテクノロジーでもモチーフでもいいんですけれども、えー、とさっきも言ったようにその、えー、一つはその僕らの作品のテーマっていうのはその。えー、古来の日本の空間認識の論理構造を、えー、サイエンス的なアプローチで見つけて、えー、それを、まあ、再利用するっていうことが一個のコンセプトでもう一個はその、えー、そのデジタルっていう概念がその、えー、美をどのように拡張するかだとかそのアートと人間との関係をどのように変えるかっていうのがその2つが大きなそのコンセプトです。As I told you earlier,、uh, there are two basic themes of our art creation.、Uh, first of all,、uh, the ongoing theme uh, uh, is the old Japanese uh, spatial uh, theories. Uh, which is different from Western uh, spatial uh, theory of、uh, perspective with single vanishing point. And second、uh, point is、uh, as a digital artist,、uh, we are always、uh, concerned and believe that the、uh, digital concept、uh, can expand and、uh, Expand the concept of, the, of, the, of art and also to uh, change uh, the relationship between art and human beings、uh, in, the, in, the, in the age of digital technology. So, the digital thing is that it's a very important thing to do with the digital thing. 基本的に例えば、えー、非常に、えー、容易に作品が拡大されたり、まあ、巨大なものが容易にできたりもしくはその人々の鑑賞者の振る舞いによって変容するみたいなことが、えーまあ、可能になるわけなんですけど。デジタルテクノロジー、when applied properly, will liberate people from Physical mass.、Uh, and this will result in t o expansion of the ability to expand artworks in a huge scale or to、uh, transform the people's behavior within artwork or toward the artworks and, or、uh, making the、uh, human、uh, intervention to the art. Uh, in a different level or different uh, uh, dimensions. So, I, when I first learned about Team Lab's work, I thought that it's a hybrid of art and technology. But to, in your mind, is there even that difference between art and technology, or are they one and the same thing in your mind? つまりそのえー、とデジタルの特性その、えー、例えば、えー、巨大な作品の前に人々が空間を自由にその歩き回ることだとかせっかくその作品が
、えー、可変的になった時にその,、えー、その変化し続けるにもかかわらずその、えー、美を一定に保つみたいなことと、えー、自分たちが見つけたその日本の空間認識の論理構造みたいなものが相性がいいと思っていてそういう意味でその2つをその、えー、ハイブリッドしている。Uh, well, art and technology is a hybrid, but for, for, for me, the, uh, uh, as I explained earlier, I, the ability to create a gigantic artwork or big space,、uh, but still maintaining the, uh, the uh, beauty while、uh, allowing the certain elements to keep changing. Uh, that is、uh, one of the uh, digital arts, arts、uh, characteristics. And、uh, this is really to liberate people from the, from the physical mass. And, and,、uh, and that digital ability mixed with our concept of ancient Japanese uh, space uh, construction technology is for me the hybrid. Uh, in creating artworks. Okay, now I'd like to open it up if there's any questions from the audience、um, for the artists. It's a great opportunity to have some time with the artists. So, are there any questions in the audience at all? Yes, we are turning on the lights right now and we have a floating mic. So please wait for the microphone to get to you for your questions. I'm going to hit this gentleman in the front. See, this is why we're all too, too quiet. It was too dark, I think. <laughs> <laughs>、oh, hi.、Uh, is, is it on? It's on? Okay.、Uh, this is for uh, uh, Ten Moya san.、Uh, for the piece、uh, the, called Rhyme. I wanted to ask two questions. One was,、uh, why is it that in this, in this battle scene, there's no blood or wounds depicted? And also,、uh, why, are, why are all the men seemingly the, the same man? This is what I said. しし uh, as、uh, mentioned earlier, they are in、um, the garden and the paintings are in complementary relationship to one another. When you put the two and two together,、um, you could potentially imagine that the blood is sort of on the bottom and not the top. And the blood is sort of on the bottom and not the top. あのまあそうですね。Uh, and, and うん、まあ。あのまあ岩自体黒焦げになった骸骨をイメージして作ってるんですね。実際はめ込んで黒焦げになったような Um, yeah. まあ、I'm drawing、um, ideas from the、um, atomic bombing from Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And this is the first piece after、um, March 11th、um, earthquake and the tsunami. あとはまあ当時書いた時に問題になってた尖閣諸島の配置を意識して石庭を作ったり
ということ室町のサバラで江戸の歌舞伎で何番病で um, so just to kind of um, translate the question was a um, question regarding the rocks and she was wondering um, what they were where they were coming from because everything appears to be coming from things that are much more elaborate and flashy and much more kind of um, uh, I don't know what's a good word but uh, yeah like um, uh, okay. So she was wondering where those rocks were coming from, and she seems to have got the answers from the previous question, but wanted to know if there were anything that uh, he would add. This is the part of the picture, but I will explain it just a moment. I only described the rocks earlier, but I'm going to now go into the paintings. あの、ま、皆さんご覧になったという前提で話しますが、あの、右と左の作品についてなんですが、これもま、ライムで響き合ってるんですけど、So the um, painting on the left and the right are also rhyming and they resonate with each other. で、左右は 対象で、ま、鏡に映したような作品になってます。で、実は右側は高度な印刷物に過ぎないんですね。But the <laughs> when I did a solo show um, a two years ago, for an entire month, no one noticed it. それは僕がまあ見破れる人が一人ぐらいいるだろうと思ったんですが、まあ僕が書くというのを前提にまあ皆さん来てくれてるので、まあそんな僕が欺くようなことはしないだろうということで。I thought there would be someone, like a, at least one person, who would realize that one of them was a copy. But everyone came to see the show um, thinking that he was, uh, I'm going to make the painting. So um, they didn't expect to be deceived at the um, exhibition. とにかく僕の心にはあの、とにかく僕が言いたかったことは見てるようでじっくりみんな見ていくんですよ。so my attempt uh, succeeded, and what I wanted it to sort of um, articulate was, and they take their time looking at the pieces, um, but um, when you um, think you're looking at something, you aren't actually looking at that thing. That's a part of the piece. Yes, I'd like to ask. I'd like to ask the gentleman from Team Lab, how many people are involved in Team Lab? And from the genesis of the project until the end of the project, how does your process work? Uh, we 
area, 300 or 400 people.作品によって違うんですけど例えばこの作品は例えばその中心にあるものも立体で作り花も立体物で作っていってそれを空間上で立体的に立体物として動かしていてそれを最終的に僕が考える え、長時間空間という、あの、古来の日本の空間認識の論理構造で、まあ、遮影、遮影していて作っています。Team Lab consists of uh, members of 300 people right now. Uh, the process of creating art, each artwork differs depending on the work. Uh, this particular work, uh, Life Sub uh, Survives by the Power of Life. Uh, was basically created uh, from the start with a CZ uh, uh, computer graphics uh, technology inside a uh, virtual computer space in 3D. Uh, the, the, the trees, the flowers, the, and, and, and butterflies, the river, everything is created inside a uh, virtual computer space. And, and then we move, we, we, we transfer, we move the, uh, the object in 3D and, uh, and we have a sort of flattened into this two uh, screen, uh, two dimensional uh, screen by applying our uh, proprietary uh, concept of ultra subjective space, which uh, I described a little bit earlier. Uh, the typical ancient Japanese uh, theory of uh, space uh, construction, uh, uh, very different from Western perspective. The, I know, the last time I had the Hana to Hito, the Kukan installation was, eh, eh, I remember Urakawa Kukan there. あれもまあ平面的に描いてるわけではなくて壁壁にあの映ってるものは後ろ側空間上に同じように立体の花をえあの立体の花を咲かせていてそれを同じように遮影してるんですけどもですかですか。The last piece, uh, the installation piece you have seen above with the projection. Uh, called Flower and People. Uh, the, this work was also uh, created in virtual computer space. Uh, behind the surface of flowers exists a space, three-dimensional space behind. And uh, it is not really a flat surface. Uh, the flowers are uh, created in 3D uh, in, in space, but it was just flattened using this Japanese uh, concept of spatial, <coughs> spatial concept. え、全体は、え、ソフトウェアで動いていて、え、人がいなくとも、え、勝手に生まれて、え、花が咲き、え、寿命が来れば散って生きて、で、そのまあその全体の分布の状態に合わせて、また生まれる場所が決まって、ま例えばすごいあの全体の状態にで生まれる場所が決まって、また同じように花が生まれ、花が咲いて散っていってます。The entire imagery are created by software program. It is not a pre-recorded image being played back. The Software uh, draw these flowers in real time when uh, there is nobody inside this room, the computer continue to draw new flowers, new plants in the area where uh, empty space exists 
And when time comes, the, those flowers will blossom and wither and disappear. And it, the computer continues to create these series of birth, uh, blossoming, and death continuously uh, forever. The sensor is in the sky and the sky. It will be blown away and it will be blown away before it comes. However, when someone, an uh, audience, enters in the room, and with the help of many sensors in the room, when, a, uh, when you step onto a flower on the floor, or you touch the uh, existing flower, uh, flowers on the wall, then you will accelerate the uh, withering and death of flowers. The itteno. At the same time, when you are standing in front of a wall uh, with a certain distance, you activate that empty space to give birth to new flowers. So just try to stand in front of the wall and, and you will see new flowers coming out. さん天明屋さんに質問なんですがあの先ほどあの「バサラ」という作品であの右側のパネルがあの、えっと、デジタルプリントっていうお話でそ,それにちょっと突っ込んでお聞きしたいんですけど、はい、そのアート作品においてそのデジタルとその手書きっていうのに本質的なこの価値の差っていうのはご自身はあるとお考えでしょうかあのファインアートのの世界でそのデジタルというものの,そのなんでしょう<笑>存在というものをどういうふうにお考えか聞きしたいんですかえー、っと。え、uh, The question was also for Temioya さん、uh, where、um, basically、um, given that he's using both digital technology and、um, actual hand painted pieces,、uh, how does he kind of、uh, situate and think about、um, Technologically produced、um, works. えっとまあマルセル・デュシャンが作ることを放棄して、まあ、便器を泉と題してレディーメイドというものができましたよね、まあそこからまあ崩れてるとは思うんですが手作りのありがたさみたいな手書きのありがたさみたいなですけどまあ特に日本の美術っていうのは工芸的な作品あの作り込んだあの手書き系、まあ、僕も結構な時間をかけて左の絵は1年半かかったんですねで右側はデジタルの作品ですけどデジタルというかはい。And from there on, where he basically gave up the idea of crafting something and then presented a urinal as an art object,、um, the idea or the valorizing process of、um, the crafting or craftsmanship has kind of deteriorated or degraded.、Um, but、um, traditionally speaking,、um, in Japanese culture, there is definitely still.、Um, A strong kind of appreciation of handcrafts or, or、uh, hand painted pieces. And、uh, the particular piece on the left、um, took a long time to finish,、um, as in like a year and a half. The other one was one year and a half. The other one was one year and a half. The other one was one year and a half. The other one was one year and a half. The other one was だから見せるのは大事だと分かっていつつ欺くことも同時にやることも僕はそれはまあデュシャンまで遡るとその価値の転換みたいな意味で必要だと思った作品ですのでまあ僕が<笑>、um,。So to... Deceive someone intentionally might actually be an interesting or、uh, important even task,、um, considering that it could result in sort of、um, flipping、um, the value system. What did you say? 
あのそうですねまあその手書きの大事さを言いたかったんですけどね結局はだけど誰も気づいてくれなかったというただそれだけなんですよ<笑>。In the end, I did really want to, all I wanted was to emphasize the importance of hand painted、um, paintings,、um, but no one seems to have understood it. <laughs> we can take a couple more questions. Yeah.、Uh, yes, I have a question、uh, that I'll address to、uh, Inuku first, and that is that artists.、Uh, Throughout the many years, have always embraced new technology. And we've learned just this week that we have some art in Indonesia that's 39,000 years old. So, from that technology 39,000 years ago, we move quickly forward to Picasso, who was always using. The latest technology in ceramics and pigments. So, I wondered if you could talk about your idea of combining art and technology in your work. その一つはそのえ作品と人の関係がまあいっぱいあるんだけどちょっと長くなっちゃうんです,すごい一個だけ言うと一つはそのえ作品と人の関係が変わると思っていて。There are many elements I wanted to say, but、uh, I'd like to say the first, the most important element、uh, technology's、uh, influence on art、uh, is that the new, new digital technology, I believe, will change the relationship between the artwork and human, pe- human being or people. So, the consumer is not a man. その作品そのものが、えー、変容していく変容していきますよね。The, the behavior of people, the, the audience will influence the artwork. So changing the artwork itself by human. その今まではその作品に対して鑑賞者は個人で、まあ、作品に対峙してた対峙というか、まあ、向かい合ってた。つま,つまり作品によって影響されるのはその鑑賞者個人ですよね。In the past, the audience stood in front of the artwork and it was the viewer, the audience who had been influenced by the artwork. That's one way street. でもその僕らの作品っていうのはそのえーさっきも言ったように鑑賞者の影響によって作品が鑑賞者の振る舞いによって作品が変わるので鑑賞者と作品が一体となって作品ともあの言えるわけですね。In our work, artwork, like、uh, installation work,、uh, interactive work, the behavior of the audience、uh, transform or change the artwork itself. So、uh, the relationship Has drastically changed into two way street. So, I think that the people who are in the world are in the world. Further on, I believe this kind of interaction or behavior will、uh, transform the relationship between the audiences themselves, between one audience against another, etc. まあ、私の振る舞いで目の前の作品が変わることによってそれを見てた隣の人に
その同じ空間でいるにもかかわらず私の振る舞いで作品が変わってしまうわけですから結果的にここの関係にもあの大きな影響を与えるような気がしていてそれは今までの,その固定的な作品とは少しその作品と鑑賞者の関係が変わっていくと思っています。Because the action of one individual、uh, viewer、uh, will change the artwork, which will then change the perception of his or her neighbor、uh, viewer,、uh, and so on.、Uh, the, 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 there will be a whole new、uh, relationship between、uh, art and people. I love the idea that, <clears throat> let me be l a u d about、um, freeing us from our bodies,、uh, the physicality. And、um, you talk about like entering a space and changing the work as it evolves. But what about、um, the mind of the person or the mind of the experience and how? Is that, the, that seems to me the next level. You know, it's one thing you step into a room and the art changes. But the next thing is how does the mind of the viewer affect the work? <laughs> At least <laughs> the, you, you become more、uh, concerned about your neighbor. So, So、uh, I repeat myself, maybe, but the,、uh, because my reaction will,、uh, to the artwork will change the artwork's reaction to my neighbor,、uh, my relationship to my neighbor also will be somehow affected emotionally. I think、um, I can add to、uh, what artworks change、uh, or what kind of changes artwork could make in people's mind.、Um, yesterday, when we first opened this exhibition to the public, I was just taking a stroll in our garden and I saw a couple、uh, intently looking at Ikeda san's big wave, the four token. Um, you know, sitting on the beautiful、uh, Joji Nakashima bench. And I never saw that before because we never used that bench in the gallery. So that was nice.、Um, they're just intently contemplating on what that means. And the next room, when I went into Team Lab section, I saw another couple moving in front of、um, the eight、uh, flat screen monitor work, which is the United、uh, the work, it's interactive. And they were just going all over that surface, you know, moving their body and looking at their shadows onto the、uh, digital work. And they were trying to figure out what that means. And the a man told,、uh, said, Well, maybe this means that whatever we do, we affect nature. And then I went into the last section of Tenmyo Ya san's、uh, dry garden, and there were a bunch of people. Who are just sitting on the bench and looking again deeply into the dry garden. And it's very different from what 
traditional dry garden is. They're trying to come up with their own interpretations, their own images, their own stories from it. So I think what art could do is to really activate our minds, our brains, and we might come up with our own interpretation. I, th I think that is, that is okay. There is no one specific answer to artworks. So um, with this, I think I would like to thank all the particip participating artists. Thank you very much. And Laura, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.